Hmm. What's comfortable? What's comfortable in stairs? This is Robert Markey. I've been doing construction for many years and I'm talk to you about stair height and depth. Actually, the, the height of the risers and the depth of the treads. Now, in order for stairs to be comfortable, there wants to be a proportion, a definite proportion between the height of the riser and the depth of the tread. There's a couple formulas that we can use to determine that. The first is the riser plus the tread is between 17 and 17 and a half. Okay, let's see how we did here. We've got a nine inch riser. We've got an eight and a half inch, eight and a quarter inch, I mean a nine inch tread and an eight and a quarter inch riser. Nine plus eight and a quarter is 17 and a quarter. Right on the money there. So this would be a comfortable, a comfortable first stair. Okay. The other way is the riser times the tread is between 70 and 75. So we got nine times eight and a quarter, nine times eight is 72 and another two and a half. So we're still in that ballpark. Okay, so this officially is a comfortable tread and riser. Now what happens is if you've been in, a, say, a hotel where they have very long treads, you get these very small risers. You may have a 14-inch a tread, and so you've got, you know, a three, three-and-a-half-inch riser, so you're going up a long staircase. If you've got a basement stairs that's very steep, you're going to have the opposite. You maybe have five inch tread and maybe a 12 inch riser or a seven inch tread and a 10 inch riser. However you do this, you want to have that, that formula, rise plus run is between 17 and 17 and a half. And that means as you go up the stairs, it's comfortable. It's comfortable steep, it's comfortable shallow, it's comfortable pretty standard. It's Robert Markey and we've been talking about treads and risers for stairs.